Doors banging too much. G'day, YouTube. Now, I had no intentions on buying any more guitars for the foreseeable future. I've got enough. But uh, I was driving past the pawn shop today on the way to pick my son up from school. And I was a bit early, so I thought, ah, oh, I feel like going to the pawn shop, have a look around. And I walked in. And I saw this, and it was such a bargain. You just can't pass it up. Bargain of the bloody century for me. So, when I saw this hanging up, I knew instantly it was probably worth about six, seven hundred dollars second hand. I looked at the price tag, three hundred and sixty nine dollars. That's Australian. That's like two hundred and forty five American. But what the hell, that's a good bargain. So I grabbed it, knowing that it's worth more. Then when I got home, I looked online, and the bloody thing's worth more than that. I can't find one cheaper than $1,000 Australian. So I got a minimum $1,000 guitar for like just over 300 bucks Australian. LTD, EX for Explorer, 400BD, and it's got this pretty cool, uh, you know, grill plate on the front. I think it's from about, I think they were, I think they were getting made from about 2003, 2004, and it's also made in Korea, which is a bonus, not Indonesia. Um, yeah, this would be 2006, W06. And yeah, it's in original condition. I mean, it's got EMG 60 and EMG 81 in the neck. And uh, yeah, I mean, that alone pays for the guitar. Well, not quite, but I remember I pulled out some EMGs from my Arrow 1000 and I sold those for 300 bucks. They were 81s though. And now there's, you probably can't see on camera, there's, yeah, there's a few you know, minor scratches, you know, a little tiny chip there, bit of a ding there, tiny ding there, but that's pretty much it. I mean, it's missing the battery cover, that's no big deal. Uh, got Grover tuners, man, it's a set neck. Oh, uh, Rosewood fingerboard, it's 22 frets. My other LTD is 24, I don't mind. I'm used to playing 22 frets. So yeah, according to the specs, body mahogany, neck hard maple, painted. Yep, Rosewood. Uh, I said set neck, yeah. Go to GE 103B, blah, 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 blah. That's for the bridge and the tailpiece, I suppose. That's about it. What else is there to say? Three-way toggle switch, tone and volume. <laughs> I'm a bit of an idiot today. Well, most days, but <laughs> I brought this home and I plugged it in. I was in a rush. I plugged it in just to see if it played well. Well, you know, sounded good. Uh, no power. No, hardly any volume, hardly any gain. I was like, ah, oh, that's why it was so cheap. But then... It, it dawned on me that, you idiot, caddy, it's active, hello, there was no battery in there. So I chucked it in there and all is well. I think this is my first Explorer shape. Is it? Oh no, the Ibanez is a destroyer, that's right. So inspired by the Explorer shape, but uh, a modification of it. I always get confused between Destroyer and Explorer, but yeah, Explorer. I haven't given it a good setup yet. I mean, the strings aren't too bad actually, but I will change them. Um, the neck is not warped at all, it looks fine. 
if you hold down the last fret and the first fret, I can see there's a bit of an up bow going on. So I have to give it some neck relief. Then maybe lower the bridge a bit. The action's already pretty high, but there's also a bow. Uh, yeah, so I haven't set it up yet, but it plays all right, but could be better. Once it's set up, it's gotta be sweet. See if it holds tune. Oh, that's out. That's out. A little bit out. Bit out. And a bit out. That's a bit better. But yeah, I'll chuck new strings on there, set that properly, and we should be good. Got a bit more gain. I don't think these humbuckers have as much high output as my, well, all my passive humbuckers, especially on the Deans. So I just turned up the uh, level up on the overdrive a bit. And that's more saturation, that's better. <laughs> Still in tune, I'm gonna need a new guitar rack. That that middle one's supposed to be five guitars, but I've managed to put seven on there. You know, an extra one on each of the ends, you know, holding on for dear life. Uh, so yeah, definitely need a new rack now. I've lost count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and two bass guitars, fifteen, sixteen. No more guitars, Caddy! There's plenty of guys with more guitars than you. You should get a few more. Yeah. Nah. Alright, that's it for this one. Worth three times the price I paid. Good old. Hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, all that good shit.